Peoria Botanical Gardens is honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And to celebrate him, they're hosting an exhibit giving a voice to local artists. News 9's Angelicia Bruton joins us with more on the annual celebration. Art can be interpreted in many different ways. So the name of this painting is Baptized in Fire. For Verdine Evergarden. And we walk through these complicated, almost chaotic instances of life. It's how he expresses his own emotions. It made me stronger, where it made me as strong as I am today. But he says he wants others to see themselves in his work. With my art, I try to portray very ambiguous people, people who aren't necessarily on one side of every flag, which is, you know, race of people, so that anyone that sees my art can see themselves because the person isn't so clearly, obviously, one particular race or another. Evergarden is one of six black artists using art to speak out. Myriad Botanical Gardens is hosting the Voices Art Exhibit, honoring Martin Luther King Jr. Blank walls of the lobby now filled with artwork, some paying homage to black history. For Evergarden, he says he's making history. I feel a great deal of responsibility um, and encouragement, even more so because I have the ability to be here and I was invited to be here and I obviously love being here. Um, and I think that kind of makes me want to paint more. Evergarden says he used to be the kid that would get in trouble for drawing. Teachers kind of slapped papers out of my hand and told me to stop drawing, you know. <laughs> for the past four years, he's been a professional. He hopes to inspire other artists to never stop drawing and to use a canvas as their voice. When you create a work of art and when you paint, people will see it. And because people will see it, it does matter. It means something. This art exhibit is just one way the Myriad Botanical Gardens plans to celebrate Martin Luther King Day. They have a lot more events planned for Martin Luther King Day. You can find a list of those on the News 9 app. In Oklahoma City, Angelicia Bruton, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.